The Victoria Foundation released its annual vital signs report this week. Overall, Victoria is doing fairly well with a B grade. But some areas that need a lot of work are housing, homelessness and discrimination. In this week's Vital People, Tess Van Stryden introduces us to a Victoria woman who is striving to make our community a better, more inclusive place. Sharla Huber has had a lot to overcome in her life. My background is I'm part of 60 Scoop and I was adopted at birth and raised in a non-Indigenous home. So my entire life I've walked in two worlds. Charlotte's used that experience to try and bring Indigenous and non-Indigenous communities together and she's worked with First Nations right across BC and Canada to try and build better relationships. Something that people can do each day is to really acknowledge that we all see the world through our own lens and your lens is made up of your experiences, your culture, your background, what people around you have told you. And so the way that you see the world is different than the way I see the world, but no one sees the world incorrectly. As the only Indigenous person on the Victoria Esquimalt Police Board and the new president of the BC Association of Police Boards, Sharla is bringing a unique perspective. There are lots of different ways to see the world and fear-based, anger-based, hate-based, it's actually not going to solve any of the problems and Charlotte is optimistic, she's positive and she looks forward and she looks for solutions and that's exactly what the world needs right now. We don't need more division, we don't need more fear, we don't need, need more anger. According to the new 2021 Vital Signs Report from the Victoria Foundation, racism and discrimination continue to be significant issues in our community. I think in this time, it's, this, it's more important than ever that we really bring light to and reflect on these long-standing issues around equity and inclusion. For the first time, the annual snapshot of how we're doing focused on equity and inclusion, and it's clear more work needs to be done. We really want to create a vibrant, caring community where everyone feels included. 42% of black, indigenous and people of color said they didn't feel included and 71% report experiencing racism regularly in their lives. It's unsettling that people are experiencing a high number of racism and it would be naive to think that there, there isn't racism or that's something that we can do away with. For Sharla, who works every day to better our community, it all comes down to identifying your own bias. Everyone has bias and we all do, so we really need to take that ownership and understanding our own bias and then learning to do better with it. That and asking questions and listening to each other with an open heart. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.